Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen. I am in Fethiye, South Turkey right now. I'm on the balcony of where I'm living and um, this time I want to show you how to make the best oven salmon. It was so delicious when I made it. I was like, I need to do that again. So first we need some salmon. The fresher, the better. So let's get some salmon. Look how beautiful Turkish salmon and um, those shrimp looked so good. We also got 500 grams of shrimp, but those are not for now. So I'm sorry, no, We're ju it's just about the salmon. So this is Turkish salmon and um, it's funny. So I love salmon. I always loved salmon, but raw, raw or gravid lox, like lox the best raw. Cooked salmon, doesn't matter, grilled, baked in a pan. Well, of course I can eat it, it's good. It's not that I don't like it, but why should I rather raw? I'm really not a fan. Fish is actually pretty cheap here. Well, much cheaper than meat. So we eat a lot of fish. I try to eat a lot of fish to save money. And, and so I thought, you know what? I don't need to eat it always raw. I also cook some or once I ate most of it raw, but then the rest of it with the skin I cooked. And I even cooked that a long time and it was delicious. I was like, fuck, cooked salmon is actually delicious. When you have really quality salmon, good salmon, fresh salmon. So I like it cooked now, it's so awesome. So by the way, when you buy fish, you probably already know that, but still always check the eyes, clear eyes. You want clear eyes, nothing cloudiness. And what I also do, so also, well, they took them out. <laughs> so now you can't really check, but also always check the gills. And they were bright red, super um, healthy, and the eyes, so eyes and gills, check that. Well, yeah, they're not here anymore. So this is the oven I have here, and I'm gonna preheat it. I'm gonna put it here, heat, from above and from below. It's just gonna turn it on, doesn't matter the minutes here. And here, I wanna put it on the maximum. Yes, of course, they already gutted it and descaled it, but so far, I've never gotten a fish that was good enough descaled. I always have to do more myself. And you see all that shiny stuff? Mm -mm, that's not good, there's still scales. So let's descale, it's, uh, <laughs> it's hard to hold, but especially here, yeah, you see, because it's hard to do it here. Still lots of scales. Of course, I took my rings off. And usually also close by the fins. See here, and like on top, lots of scales. See, wow. Well, I'm gonna do everything. And also like here, see, that one is really bad. Sometimes I get better. Or here, like just everywhere where it's harder to get to, it's, they don't do a good job. So let me descale that whole thing. And you wanna wash it, well, of course I'm gonna do the other side too. You wanna wash it up with cold water. Probably have to go over it again one more time. That is, I love skin. I want, I want to eat the skin, but I fucking hate scales. And um, scales are like the kitchen glitter. They like fly over everything, everywhere. I hate descaling, but what I hate even more is a fish that's not descaled properly. So I can also see there's some stuff he left in, like. Where was it? Oh, maybe it washed out now. Right here. Well, so. Okay, so now last time when I saw this, actually, you see all these um, bones coming out here. Last time I had it only on one side. Now it's even better. So it got me the idea, you know what? Let's take those fucking bones out before I actually cook it because they are always so annoying. So I had this great idea, so I just, now it's so much easier. Look, I can just take those, the whole bunch of them, and then I just, so I'm gonna go here to the, to the spine, basically, 
and I just cut them off. So, and here you see, so then I just like pull them out. And this one, oh my gosh, this fish is so much better. Last time it was really still in there, so I had to kind of like, like, yeah, like this, like try to pull them out here. You see, like this here, so I pull it out. But oh, this is so easy. Last time it was really stuck in there. So, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna do that now for every fish because when you eat that after it's cooked and you don't have the, to deal with these anymore, it's life-changing. So take some time and do that. This time it's super easy. Sometimes it's a little bit annoying and takes some time to do that, but it's so worth it. So you really can go, yeah. And of course the same on the other side. Oh, I forgot my hat. So that is better. I mean, I already brought it, right? To my new nomad life. Yeah, by the way, if you want to know more about my new nomad life, um, I have a separate YouTube channel for that, Aline's Adventures. Um, I'm going to post one of the videos here so you can follow, subscribe. Okay, so the oven is preheated. This is super hot. So I'm going to put in hot water, otherwise it warps. You could also put water in before and put it in the, um, put it in the oven with the water. So I'm gonna put the fish in here. It's like ooh, open right now. I'm gonna use lots of salt, Turkish sea salt, super delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna put that into the oven. The salt that I put in here, I brought that with us, is actually this salt here, I bought it here, Anatolian sea salt. And it's really so, so delicious. And yes, sea salt uh, tastes everywhere differently. And that one is just so good. I love it. I left it in five minutes, not very long. And now I'm kind of uh, loosening it up. It should actually, yeah, because of the water. Okay. I don't want to destroy it. So now, whew, okay. Ooh, beautiful. Ah, oh, yes. Look how beautiful this fish is. And I love fish still raw, but I also like salmon now when it's really fresh cooked. But so I hope like in the middle, it'll still be raw. That's what I want. Of course, you can leave it in much longer. I left it in for five minutes. And this year, of course, I'm not gonna throw away I keep that. I usually just pour, ooh, <laughs> pour it in a dish, in a bowl, and um, add other stuff to it and make a soup out of it. Mmm, aguita. So let's check it. So yeah, I could fillet it and everything. Usually I just dig in. I'm always so scared that I overdid it, but I think like last time, it's yes. So now, of course, because it's still raw by the spine in the middle it's much harder to fillet so usually I just take chunks out of it and eat them so I want to show you you see here it's still raw it's nice and warm but it's like so delicious Aguita. so so good I'm telling you and I love it, the combination, like still raw here and cooked there. And the work I did with cutting off those little fine bones, oh my gosh, that's so worth it. I'm telling you, yeah, once in a while I still find one because I didn't do a good job or something, but oh my gosh, otherwise it's always such a hassle with all the bones. So do that, it's so worth it. So what I really like is the skin on the head here, this here. And that skin also doesn't have any um, scales. It's like so good, this skin here. Mm. Then also here the flesh, of course.
then the eyes are super delicious well i'm not eating the eyeball or that there is like some like bone or like it's more like a scale a round thing around it this year and the eyeball i take out too um you can eat the eyeball i used to eat it sometimes and people love the cheek badly i like much this is a small fish but with bigger fish what i like much more is um the jaw the jaw is actually so like here but this is a small fish so you don't really get much Here the cheek. And you can crack the skull open to get to the brain. But it's like really small here. I think I just sucked it out. Try this recipe, leave the fish in longer if you want or less long. I feel like I should have taken it out after four minutes. Got a little bit too much done for me, but still super delicious, of course. And really try to get as the fish as fresh as possible. I think in Reno, I just never really got good salmon. Even though when we bought not frozen salmon, like from the counter, like fresh, it's just, well, Reno, there is no ocean. Well, except we have some uh, lakes, there are some fish in there, yes, but usually Reno is not, it's not on the ocean. It's not really good for fish and seafood. Here, that's like, oh my gosh, it tastes amazing. Bye. Servus.